Welcome to Corner Fine Art. Today I'll be showing you how to preserve fall color through watercolor painting. So here are some materials that I wanted to introduce you to. Uh, a lot of different things that you can use, starting with watercolor paper. I have a small postcard pad, but you can also use a large paper pad and crop to size that you desire. You will be needing some watercolor brushes of different sizes. And some optional items are watercolor inks, a watercolor pad, which I'll be using today to create this painting, and some watercolor pencils. And some watercolor pencils can be used to add some details to your painting. You also need some masking tape. You want to secure your paper with some tape on the edges so that it doesn't warp when you we use a lot of water to dissolve the pigment. So after you've sketched something that you're happy with, you're gonna take some water and we're gonna do something called the wet and wet method. So for this method, you want to apply the water and take a bigger brush and apply a lot of water on the leaf shape. And watercolor is perfect for this kind of uh, painting because it flows and blends really well, especially with this wet on wet method. So now I'm going to take some of my fall colors, like yellow, orange, red, some darker greens, load my brush and apply it on here by dabbing it and adding more water to move it around. And just put it wherever I want some of that bright yellow color. Then I'm going to take some orange and apply it as well, the same way. I'm gonna use my smaller brush to blend some of these colors together. So just bringing some of the pigments so that they interact with each other, like so. To paint the veins on this leaf, I'm using an angle brush. It's very useful 